Well, hello, my beautiful Librans. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Librans, this is your Twin Flame connection for mid-February 2023 and beyond. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. Uh, but February is considered the month of love, just because we have Valentine's Day in it. Um, but we should be leading with love every day of the year. Uh, and of course, it's not really just about Valentine's Day, okay? That is a commercialized day that we have marked for us all to celebrate, of course. Um, it's more than that, we have Venus in in the most romantic sign Pisces. So it does give us a lovely frequency when it comes to love and really encourages us all to look at where our heart is at the moment. Uh, now we also have uh, Neptune and Pisces, a link between the two, and that can lead us all into the realm of fantasy. So it really is important to be very honest with yourself when it comes to this twin flame connection. If uh, your twin is currently not investing in uh, your relationship, then it is important to to take a real step back, okay? Um, I always say do not wait for your twin because it will happen in divine timing. You must move on with your life, focus on your true calling before um, anything changes because as soon as you focus on your own true calling, that is the catalyst for change. Your twin comes seeking you. Now the first pile is your pile, second pile is your person's pile, and the third pile is the unified energy, okay? so. Um, if you're looking for answers as to whether you can heal this relationship with your person, the answer is yes, okay? Um, this twin flame connection is a reading for um, people who are in separation from their twin. If you do not know what a twin flame connection is, please look it up online. It often involves uh, a runner, a chaser, and a separation period for both people to spiritually evolve separately, okay? Um, now... I always say they're like magnets, identical magnets, identical in polarities, which basically means two magnets that push and pull each other. They attract, but also repel each other because they are so similar in the energies. Twin flames tend to have taken a similar journey in life. They may have also had a very uh, difficult growing up and a difficult journey to meet each other. And you often meet your twin when you've gone through a very traumatic experience, okay? Because your twin, is um, there to challenge you, shall we say, to look at all aspects of yourself, even the parts of yourself that you do not love, and challenges you to love them, love them harder. And the twin who is more spiritually evolved is willing to open themselves up to surrender, and they are the chaser. And the twin who is avoidant, the one who looks at all the things within themselves and says, nope, I can't go there, I can't look at that at this time, they're emotionally avoidant and they take a step back. Uh, they often um, run from the connection and deny their feelings, even though they really want to be with their twin. They know that they have met someone who will offer unconditional love and that they know that there is a deep bond between you and them, okay? so. Your person is um, someone who is seeking companionship at this time. They are looking to settle down by the looks of things. But as I said, uh, the, the twin flame connection, the polarities must flip first before you come back into union. So you must become the, the runner and they become the chaser, okay? And you've got the fox there, which indicates you are, you know, perhaps deciding to step back from this connection at this time, withdraw, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Gods, Burn Angels. Can you please guide? 
uh, we've got the six of swords. Yeah, I feel this like walking away energy, six of swords. I'm gonna just pull one more just to be sure. So I wanna clarify that this, the four of wands and the, what's the other one there? The King of Pentacles, okay. So I'll leave that there because that's the end energy. I just want to um, really focus on what's coming out for your cards. Now, you've got the fox, okay? And just to let you know, you're being influenced currently by your 11th house. And that's all about your hopes, dreams, and wishes, the things that you are trying to attract using the law of attraction. So whatever it is you've been wishing for, it looks like you may just get it. So if you've been disconnecting from your person saying, I can't do this, it's the end, then you're right, okay? Whatever it is that you are deciding in this moment, it shall be so. Um, with the fox there, it's number 14. So the number 14 tells me that you've had a lot of patience with this person. I feel um, that there may have been some mind games that went on in this connection, okay? Um, some put back and forward, push and pull kind of energy. I mean, nobody is ever fully a saint, so I, I'm not here to play the blame game or take anyone's sides, uh, but you've got the fox energy right now, which means you are taking a step back from all of that drama okay I feel like you're in a protective measure you're putting your own needs first and I also feel because you've got a seven and eight of Pentacles deep down you really want to repair this relationship you you are actually focusing on yourself at this time so you are being very clever um, in order to withdraw and work on your own progress in life you are the catalyst for change because as soon as you do that and you uh, stop being the chaser that's when your person turns everything around and they come to talk you, your person has got an ace of swords here so that means this person is going to come and have an honest open conversation with you at some point i'm just gonna let that siren go past i've had to open the window because it is stifling in here it's really hot so um it may be a little bit louder outside but i, I spent a lot of time soundproofing this room um that's why i took some time off there so i do apologize for the delay in readings uh but i'm hoping this and the new mic uh create a better sound for you all because i know it was very difficult with that transition thank you for your patience anyway moving on there um we've got number nine which means you feel really that you've been tested quite heavily um you've been in hermit mode so you've really withdrawn from this connection and you've been doing a lot of spiritual growth you've been working a lot on your personal development on your personal goals whether you're retired or whether you are uh, currently working or in between jobs i really get this sense that you have a lot going on in your life that you are focused on you have responsibilities and you've tried not to look back at this twin flame connection as much as possible you're trying to move forward but you can't help it deep down you are asking yourself is it worth repairing okay because i feel you've given your all in this connection you're someone who's been very loving very kind and i feel this relationship has really tested your faith uh, the fox operates under difficult circumstances okay uh, the fox and the dog they're kind of um how can I put it? Very instinctive animals. So I feel there's a lot of passion between you and this person. And I feel that on some level, your twin completely understands you, but on others, they completely don't get it. So I just want to pull a card and see what that energy is, because I feel that you are someone, my beautiful Librans, you found it difficult to open up to this person, but because you were bold enough to do it, um, I feel you're it's like the walls are up or you're feeling very cautious right now about really connecting back to this person because you're not sure if you can trust this person okay so yeah some five swords definitely some mind games going on there i'm picking up this energy that if i withdraw and not talk to this person for a bit maybe they'll want me more this is coming from your person's energy okay there's something about this person they've got low self-esteem and they thought that if they had ego if they put on this bravado that if they didn't talk to you for a while or left it a couple of days before messaging you that you would see them as someone who's got a lot of attention they're quite a catch and they were playing games playing mind games and of course that's immature behavior okay but you know i hate these like dating uh you know you see all these dating advice things online or in books where it's like, you know what, make them wait because that makes you, you know, uh, what's the sentence that's so horrible? Treat them mean, keep them keen, that sort of thing. 
it doesn't work. It's damaging. It actually teaches people that I can't trust you because I don't know where I'm at with you. So why would I want a future with you when I can't trust you? So I feel there's something from the very beginning where there's this you know, in and out, back and forth, mind games, pushing each other's buttons going on there. Now, it may have been from both sides. There's always two sides of a coin. I'm not here to, uh, as I said, take sides or point fingers, but I really get a sense that there has been some mind games going on. And in silence, okay, I feel, because um, I feel like you've re really withdrawn from this person, but I feel if they're on social media, sometimes you may have taken a peek. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. We all do it from time to time. Uh, you do think about this person a lot and they actually are constantly looking you up because this is the lurker of the, the, the deck, okay? So this is someone who investigates, uh, digs a little bit deeper. And with the Page of Swords, I really get this sense that some of you, I mean, you will hear from this person, but I feel also, Librans out there, I get this energy that you're thinking, should I investigate new options? Should I go out there and find someone new? You may even be talking to someone new right now and you're just not talking, uh, you're just not telling your twin, okay? Uh, because deep down you really want your twin, but you know that it leads to a certain place, a certain pattern. And in order to move past that because it's unfulfilling and disappointing and you're feeling really frustrated with your behavior, I feel part of you is like, well, you know what? Why shouldn't I go off and enjoy myself and find a soulmate? Why shouldn't I? Life is too short. So um, we've also got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, deep down, you just want to be happy. You want that happy ever after. You want a commitment. You want happiness and harmony and balance and a, a peaceful relationship where you can settle down with someone and feel like they've got your back no matter what life throws at you. Because if we're all honest, life is tough. You know, uh, to get up in the morning, go on to do sometimes some several jobs, you know, trying to pay the bills, trying to look after family members. Some of us are carers as well. And, you know, there's just a lot going on. And plus the world is a crazy place right now. So it's all about, you know, so much information, so much doing going on that it's just so simple. You want a life partner who's got your back, someone you can trust and say, you know what, it's going to be all right. Even though you know, you're all self-sufficient and you've got it all by yourself. Sometimes it's nice to just have someone by your side that says, you know what, I understand and I got you and vice versa. And I feel that's what you're looking for. And that's what this person can be for you, but something has got in the way. So I will find out what that is for your person. I feel there is an immaturity about your person. So this person may be a little bit younger than you is what I'm picking up on. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, it has done what the Twin Flame, oh, Okay, so they were giving me, and I wrote it down actually, a hexagon, one, two, three, four, five, six. They were giving me a hexagram. I wrote it down and I wrote it on a piece of paper. I do some channeling before you're reading, 10 minutes of meditation, so I can pick up the energy before I start. And they give me images and they gave me a hexagon, okay? And it is a symbol for you to look out for. I mean, I literally just wrote it over here. I write everything down and I don't mention it again unless it comes up in the water. Okay, and it just resurfaced in the water and I just, I don't look at the cards until I pick them up and it's also got a hexagram right there. So I'm just gonna go get that card, that piece of paper that I wrote it just to show you, I, I won't be a second. Okay, it's here. There's lots of other images that I will not show you because, okay, let me just rip that off uh, because I don't want to taint the reading. Um, if it, because when I read something, it can actually like influence the reading and then it can like pop up. So this is what I wrote. Again, apologies for the writing because it's atrocious. When I'm channeling, my writing is like, you know, a spider fell in some ink and crawled across the page. Uh, it says hexagram. I hope you can see that right at the top there. Um, and I, so, it, but inside I put six because I was just making sure that it was six sides, but it was a hexagram. So inside it had all, it's like a star or a pattern inside is what they were showing me. And um, they gave me this sense of harmony and balance and, uh, you know, to balance the masculine and feminine energy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I hope you can, you could see that hexagram. So over the next six, seven, eight weeks or so, look out for a sign or a symbol of a hexagram because it is relevant. It means that you and your person are coming into some sort of balance and, uh, you will hear from your person. Okay, uh, so look out for that. I mean, it's no accident that I've written it down before the reading and it's shown up in one of the cards. Okay, so it is something that is very uh, important and it's a sign for you, my beautiful Librans, okay? Um, so with the Eight of Pentacles, this indicates that the Twin Flame 
pattern or journey, shall we say, is do doing exactly what it always does. It forces you to do personal work. Eight is the number of the self. So I feel like you are going through a very strong period of personal development. You're focusing on your own needs, on your own projects, and on your own true calling. Some of you are also with the Eight of Pentacles learning. We are all apprentices of life. We're all learning every single day. And none of us come with a manual of how to do life, okay? We're just reacting and acting to situations that we find ourselves in each moment. So with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, yes, you're learning more about yourself and you're gaining knowledge more about the twin flame connection as well. I feel a lot of you are focused on a new hobby or enjoying a new craft or a skill that you're doing. And I feel like you're developing. This is a card of development. And I feel that you're coming into being in some way. And as a result, you're asking whether because you're building healthier boundaries, you're asking whether this twin flame connection is worth it because you're dissatisfied. It's almost like the more you look within yourself to rediscover parts of yourself that you feel have been lost due to this twin flame connection, um, you're rediscovering parts of yourself that point in the direction that you're worth more. Okay, it's time to build that healthier boundary. Seven of Pentacles is a self-evaluation card where you're like, is there an alternative way to connect to love rather than through the twin flame? What is the exchange? What, what is it that I'm getting out of this? But it is a very intense learning curve, the twin flame connection. It can be romantic and passionate on all of those wonderful things, but at grassroots, the point of it is to spiritually evolve and reach another frequency when it comes to life and love and to gain clarity. As you can see here uh, in the background there, there's like this clear quartz, okay, to get clarity on what's important in life. What are you focused on? And a lot of you may be focusing on your goals or on learning or focusing on your projects, trying to bring stability into your life when really you actually want to focus on nurturing this loving relationship. Um, but right now it's not in a state where it can be nurtured because there is separation, okay? So with that seven of pentacles, you've been very patient with this person. You've, you've invested a lot into this connection for a very long time, and it's been in and out. They'll give me the word cycles. So you've had many cycles with this person, and you're wondering, is it worth continuing? Um, something came up in the Sagittarian reading that's showing up right now. They also got the seven of pentacles, um, and it's, you haven't come this far to only come this far. It's like you don't want to give up, but at the same time, you're not sure. Three of Pentacles, some of you may discuss it with your friends, but I really get a sense that your friends and family uh, are advising you to perhaps move on because you they feel that you deserve better. Also, some of you, with the Three of Pentacles there, I feel some of you have either already started talking to someone new or you're wondering if this your twin flame has someone new, okay? The Justice, Libra, there you are. Um, now, yeah, I feel you have a strong support network with these three cards. You've got some really great friends that are backing you up or, you know, hashing things over with you. And the justice card is like, how do I find a resolution? How do I make a decision? How do I know? How do I know that this person's my twin flame? Well, you're going to get lots of signs and symbols, as I said, uh, one of them being that hexagram. Um, but with the strength card, you're meant to learn about unconditional love for yourself because you give it to other people and sometimes you forget about yourself because you're always over giving. So that's one of the lessons that you are meant to learn as you transform in this twin flame connection. And the justice card is, uh, to, it's like a head over heart decision right now. And as you can see, we've got head over heart kind of energy here in the seven of pentacles as well. It's like, do I focus on the material plane or do I focus on, you know, the ethereal, the, the loving uh, side of life? So I feel right now you're at a bit of a fork in the road where you are examining what it is that you want. Um, and I feel like you've been through a very tough time. You've really been tested in this and you're strong enough to have been given this journey. Otherwise, you, you know, you're strong enough to take it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been given it. Okay, uh, that doesn't make it easier for you, my beautiful Librans. Um, for your person, they've had a lot of uncertainty around uh, commitment. Uh, you don't need me to tell you that, you know that already. But they've got the dog here, which means that there is loyalty with this person. This person, um, I feel uh, they, they are loving and they, I feel, 
with the energy, the Ace of Swords, this means that they are taking accountability for their actions and they want to be loyal. They want to tell you the truth. They want to be disciplined and say, look, I was very uncertain about commitment. I was afraid. Uh, number 18 is the moon card, which is all about fears coming to the surface, hidden fears. And it's number 10 here, which is a wheel of fortune. This person is turning their life around. They are looking at fear in the face and saying, stop ruining my life. Stop ruining my ability to commit. And I feel this person's facing their fears head on. They want to, they, they want to commit. Okay. Uh, so I do feel this person is going to come on in with an offering. And I just get this sense that just as the fox is walking away, suddenly it looks back. And I get this sense that that's what you're doing. Libra, you're walking away, but there's this moment where you look back and you'll see your person saying, okay, I'm sorry. Can we, can we try to find a resolution? Can we reunite? Okay. Um, now, your person is the king of wands. So this has been showing up heavily in a lot of people's readings. There's a lot of passion between you and your twin. Okay. And it, there was no foundation at the very beginning because this person, um, they keep people at arm's length. They are scared to commit. And with the king of wands energy, I feel that they used sensuality as a form of intimacy. So they didn't want to go deeper per se, but um, they couldn't help it. And they just, you know, they got caught so much up in the passion of it that then they got in too deep and then they got scared and then they withdrew, okay? They cut it short, they cut it off really quickly. Um, now, this is not gonna resonate for everyone, but I'm gonna give it to you because it's coming through. Some of you may have even uh, miscarried with this person Okay, um, that's just coming through. There's about 20% there that I'm picking that up on. And I want to send you all a hug out there and so much love. Okay, it's a, it's a difficult experience. And I'm just sending all of the love that I have to offer right through the screen. If I could scooch you all up in a massive hug and we just hugged it out, I absolutely would, okay? Um, but I'm just picking that up as well. I feel like your person, if they did not know, I feel energetically they're aware Okay, there's some deeper bond and they've been exploring what that could be. Okay, um, and they, I feel like they know. So uh, I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, that's not going to resonate for everyone, that part. Okay, King of Wands also indicates that this person, very passionate, okay, is going to take the initiative. Uh, I feel they influenced the separation in some way. Um, they are going to take responsibility, but I feel they're going to have the confidence to come back on in and influence the situation again because they're aligning themselves with their heart now. They want to be bold, so they want to lead. They want to come in and tell you how they feel, okay? I feel this person at some point in their life presumed you would always be around and that's not the case. You're, you're taking a step away and I feel it's really shocked them. It's motivated them actually to get their act together. That happens quite regularly in twin flame connections. Uh, we got an ace of swords. So this person, they wanna tell you the truth. They wanna come towards you. And I feel um, they're suddenly having clarity where they feel responsible for certain actions in their life and they want to make amends. And that's not just in terms of the twin flame connection. I feel like this person is looking at their life in general and how they caused certain things to come about and they're trying to take responsibility or accountability for their actions and with the ace of swords this is a breakthrough card it tends to mean um, that destiny and fate have delivered some karma to this person and they suddenly know what it feels like to be in your shoes Okay, so uh, I'm gonna pull a card on that because I feel this is a card of transformation, synchronicity. They're getting lots of signs and symbols that point in your direction. So they're gonna be seeing things like your name everywhere. They're going to be, uh, you know, if you had a favorite movie together, that favorite movie is gonna be like on the billboard in front of them. They're gonna see lots of reminders of you. And I really feel that is the catalyst for them saying, you know what, I can't fight fate. I know this person is my person and they're going to um, override their f fears. Okay. Thank you so much. Spirit guides going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Queen of cups. They love. Okay. Um, you gave unconditional love to this person. And I feel they're in a very sensitive energy right now where they're opening up to understanding. 
and they're understanding more about love and they're listening to their heart, okay? This person is ready to fall in love. I feel like they already fell in love, but I just wanted to clarify just to make sure that their intentions are pure and they have a queen of cups, which means they love you, okay? Again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the love, it's about the energy, it's about the affection. Now as the outcome energy, We do have the lily, so a lot of sensual chemistry between you and your person, and this is a card of growth, okay? It does indicate that this will be a long process. There's something in this person's heritage, something that they experienced before they met you that made them cut things short, and I feel they are processing this now, and I feel they're going to open themselves up. They want a peaceful, loving relationship, and they're maturing, okay? As they get older, they're maturing, and I feel... Um, also, I don't really want to say this, but it's coming through as well. They've never experienced the chemistry that they had with you, with anybody else, okay? And I'm putting the word chemistry in there for what they really mean. So read between the lines because YouTube would like take this video down or something if I mentioned what I'm picking up there. But um, we've got the owls as well. Now the owls is all about knowledge, okay? Um, I also feel there may have been some sort of gossip that went on in this connection or a miscommunication, okay? Uh, there's a lot of anxiety, uh messages being misconstrued, okay? I feel like that will be talked about in the future and it'll be like, no, I didn't mean that. What I meant was this. It's something like something that was not spoken with tone. It was either a text or an email or a letter. It, it was something that could be read and you put your own tone on how you think the words have been written, okay? It's been misconstrued. That will be talked about in the future, okay? Whatever that was. Um, but with this card, I'm getting a sense of restlessness. I feel like you're done with the pattern. You're fed up with the way things have gone. So unless this person really uh, comes towards you and shows you with action, I feel like you're really gone. Especially since it's number 12, this person's kept you on hold or wasted time. And I feel you're like, you're just not dealing with that anymore. Uh, life is too short to be wasting time. But the outcome is the stars, healing, okay? Any toxic behavior, any bad habits or patterns are going to be healed. Both of you are uh, you know, going to see each other in your raw, authentic form. And I feel this is an opportunity for both of you to look towards the future with hope because the star energy really does um, you know, embrace a brighter future um, as well as healing. So I feel both of you are wishing for each other and I feel both of you are going to come into uh, being. When I touch this card, uh, I'm getting a magnifying glass. They're showing me a magnifying glass in the water. And it's really weird because when you see someone's eye in a magnifying glass, it looks, it looks huge and crazy and big, right? So either there's some sort of joke about a magnifying glass and you and your person and this one crazy eye, I'm not sure. Uh, but I mean, spiritually, a magnifying glass can mean uh, that you're scrutinizing the situation or you're going to get an opportunity to look, take a deeper look or a closer look at each other. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not really sure. It may even be that you'll see a symbol or an literal magnifying glass and it will indicate that you and your person will be looking at things again in the future on how you can come together. Uh, now, on their side of the street, because this is, we flip the energy, your pile was first, then their pile, and then we flip it, it's their pile and then yours, okay? They've got the three of pentacles. And they've also, sorry, this is the Three of Pentacles and also the Six of Pentacles, okay? So uh, I'm going to pull a card on it just to see because the energy I'm getting from the Three of Pentacles is that this person has been very much um, in a bit of a maze. They've been a little bit in limbo. They have felt very lost and they didn't know which way or which direction to take in life at all. And they chose to follow their mind instead of their heart. And I feel they've been talking to their friends. Oh my gosh, they just said, look at the signs. Look at the signs. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. <laughs> There's a hexagram, a hexagram there as well. That's two cards, two cards, both of you getting this hexagram. So if you're a cross watcher, look out for that hexagram as well, because I feel that is a symbol or sign for you too. It's right there in the background. Okay, that is wonderful. I'm loving that. Um, okay, I mean, they're pretty much appearing in a lot of the cards. There's two on your side, and then there's one here. 
okay? Maybe one there as well with the four of wands. So unity coming together. Uh, but I just want to pull a card on that three of pentacles just to make sure that your person does not have another person or a third party. I mean, it could be that someone has influenced this person. Third party does not always mean someone cheated on you um, or has somebody else. It can mean that there is someone influencing a situation. You know, um, it could be something like a friend breaks up from their partner and therefore they're like, you know what, I'll just be single as well. Or they could give some bad advice. Could even be a, a maternal or paternal figure, father figure, mother figure, who's, you know, been very strict and said go for career rather than love, that sort of thing. So I just want to pull a card. Can you please show me this three of pentacles? What is that? Ten of cups. Family related. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Needles. Can you please guide? Okay. No, this person, I just wanted to make sure this person is single. They are, okay? Um, Nine of Pentacles tells me that they are in a solitary energy. Uh, this person tries to please their family heavily, okay? Um, and sometimes at detriment to themselves is what is coming up here. But they do want happy ever after. This person has been focused on building a life of wealth and luxury, and they chose those things over love. They felt like they had time. They actually thought that you'd be sticking around as well, but I feel like they've got a bit of a surprise, okay? So they do want to settle down. Um, I just wanted to make sure that, I just feel like they've been a bit lost on other things rather than love, because they just felt like they had time. And then suddenly they've woken up and gone, I don't have time. Um, we do have that six of pentacles as well, which indicates balance um, and generosity, but also reciprocity, most importantly, okay? So this person is going to invest in a future with you as much as you invest in them, if you decide to. That's, that's totally your call. This is a card of distribution, it being equal, okay? And that's so important for you as a Libran especially. So I do feel you and your person will transform this relationship um, and heal it and come into some um, form of resolution. I'll see if I can get a date or a time when, because um, sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. Queen of Wands is a reminder that you're standing in your power and you are very attractive. Okay, at the, I mean, you're very attractive normally, but I feel you're gonna get a lot of attention, okay? So you may have some options when it comes to love. So if you want to be with your twin, of course, you're attracting them back into your energetic sphere. But if not, there are other options being attracted to you and being guided towards you at this time. The Queen of Wands also is a card of recognizing healthier boundaries. Um, knowing that, um, it's interesting, I'm getting the sense like, I. I I wanted to be with you, I don't need you, but I wanted to be with you. There is a difference, okay? And I feel that's your attitude right now because you gave so much to this person, it felt like a bit of a slap in the face that um, suddenly there was a separation energy. Uh, it, it just just broke apart, okay? Now also with the Queen of Wands, um, I feel there's a sense of you um, having a strong friendship with this person as well is what I'm picking up, okay? Uh, strong friendship. We've got the Empress. So, I mean, some of you, with the Empress and the Queen of Wands here, this is on your side. So this can indicate that, and I'm gonna pull a quick card on this. Again, I, I'm like, does Libra have somebody else? Do you have someone else there, my beautiful Librans? Again, male or female, as I said, it's not about gender, but the Empress card is a maternal type figure or someone who is influencing a situation. Um, so it can be that either you are talking to somebody new or you've attracted someone new or um, that you are talking to a friend for advice on this situation. So let me just pull a card on that or even talking to your mom about it and them giving you advice that you, you deserve to build healthier boundaries and make sure that this person works for it, okay? Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Can you please guide? Okay, no. So they are indicating you're talking to someone, talking to a friend about reconciling with this person because you got the six of cups, which means you do want to deep down reunite with this person and they want to reunite with you okay so i do see reconciliation for you and your person there will be healing but you may be talking to someone who is either older and wiser than you in some sense maybe they've gone through this before or they're giving you some uh, sort of advice 
let me see what that advice is. The Hierophant. <laughs> Commitment. Let them show you commitment. Let them come towards you. Let them prove to you that they have changed and that they want to settle down. Okay. This may be someone who's married, who's giving you this advice. Um, I would pay attention to the advice that they're giving because I feel you and your person will lead to a high level commitment like marriage. Okay. In the future, uh, not in February, all, of course, but in the future. Finally, we got the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords indicates you've had to walk away to learn a very valuable lesson about healthier boundaries and putting your own needs first before you can reach a, a calmer energy with your person. Uh, Six of Swords indicates you've been tested in this relationship heavily. And um, whilst both of you have been passing the tests, They've been at different levels, okay? And a lot of people say, who wants to be in a relationship that tests you? Who wants to be in a relationship that you feel that you have to break down all these walls in order and do all this work to make things work? Um, it is really rewarding once you break through that. Um, and a lot of you will know that. Some people don't understand twin flame connections because they've not met their twin, okay? But those who have will understand why. Uh, we do have a King of Pentacles, so this indicates this person will offer a solid high-level commitment in the future. There will be investment. And I feel you and your person, you will anchor your emotions and you will um, ground and commit. I feel both of you will move in together. Okay, um, I definitely see you moving in together in the future. Also with the King of Pentacles, I'm getting a sense of someone older than you giving you really solid, good advice. Okay, so just listen to that. They've been through something similar uh, in the past. And finally, we've got that Four of Wands, which is to reunite, which is to move in with each other, halfway to marriage, to reconcile, and to be with each other, take that journey of life. This is a card of celebration. So I do feel this particular twin flame connection that I'm picking up on, the majority energy that I'm picking up on right now, the frequencies that are the strongest, there is a reconciliation here. Prepare to be with this, uh, prepare to get uh, a message from this person. Also, there's something about perfectionism. So I think, I feel like it's your person and the influence from their family I'm picking up. Um, they want everything to be perfect. They're a people pleaser. And sometimes they um, have taken the advice of their parent or guardian above their own sense of what their heart wants. I feel that person is standing up to that now. They're stronger. So I feel like they're they're not wanting to let anyone down, but at the same time, they're following their heart now, okay? And they want you. So I definitely see you and this person coming back together. Uh, I'm just going to go and get a final card to clarify the whole reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Thank you. Okay. I mean, I said it in the reading. A wish come true. Both of you are getting a wish come true. So it says protection here, okay? And I feel like this union is protected even though you are separated at this time. Both of you are meant to spiritually evolve separately. That's what the twin flame connection does. So it says regeneration and royal power, health protection and protected from any negative forces, okay? So if anybody has been wishing unwell on this connection or there's been any negative influences who've been trying to separate you, whether it's gossip, whether it is, um, you know, an interfering family member, shall we say, I feel like you're being protected and redirected at this time and you and your person will come back into union. And we've got wish come true, especially since your 11th house is activated at this time of hopes and wishes and you've got the star energy for both of you. I feel both of you, you wish to be together and it shall be so. It says here, a desire attained after a very long time, getting what you wish for and believe in the possible. Believe and you shall receive. That is the energy of this reading, okay? Look out for the hexagon, uh, or the hexagram, shall I say. Uh, it's very important, okay? And maybe the magnifying glass as well. And I will leave it there. I'm just gonna go and get a trinket before we close. Um, if something resonates in this reading for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. Message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. And let's see what trinkets you got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we got the grapes. Okay. Now grapes, they represent growth. 
okay? Um, they represent uh, fruitfulness, uh, relationship bearing fruit, and it, you know, sweet reward after hard work or nurturing something to growth. Um, so that is very, very positive. Uh, we've also got the ring for commitment. Okay, um, so there's a contract and a bond between you and this person, and I feel it will lead to a high level commitment like marriage. Okay, if that's what you want, of course. But ultimately, there is a partnership, and we got the two hearts entwined, two hearts coming back together again because you're you're ultimately you're linked. Okay, unless you sever the cord. So um, I do feel both you and this person you will gravitate back towards together, back towards each other together. And I feel this time it's in a more committed vein, shall we say. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Librans and love and light.